That's me a couple of years ago. Um, my background is uh, in prosthetics and orthotics. So um, prosthetics is a very crafts-oriented profession, as you can see on this picture. Uh, I've been working in this profession for 17 years. Uh, the problem with my career was the more I advanced in my career, the more I was uh, working in front of a computer and not in a workshop anymore. So this was kind of disturbing to me. And after 17 years in this job, I decided I needed to have a change in my life. The change was supposed to be more creative. I wanted to be more uh, back in a workshop, get dirty hands again. So in order to do that, I needed a space. Um, and that's basically what I found. Together with my, at the time, girlfriend, now wife, I found this space. Um, which looked exactly perfect for what I wanted to do. The problem was I didn't really know what I wanted to do, uh, except that I wanted to be more creative and more back in a workshop and building stuff. But I had no idea what exactly I wanted to build. Well, we started with renovation of this space. After six weeks of renovation, in um, June 2010, we moved into the place. Uh, the place is now our studio, our home, our workshop, my wife's photo studio, uh, my workshop, our bed and breakfast, um, and our party place, kind of our center of our life. So during the time of renovation, I started to um, build furniture. Also during the renovation, we, we had to save some money, so we used a lot of reclaimed material, uh, like old secondhand bricks from destroyed houses, old wood, or yeah, and I also started to build furniture during that time because it's a big space, so we needed a couple of pieces. And also for this, I used old material uh, and old uh, Chinese furniture that I would turn into something new. This is one of the first pieces I made for ourselves. It's an old uh, dresser that I turned into uh, bathroom furniture with sink and water connection. Another piece I made in the beginning was this gas stove from an old uh, Chinese table that I covered with a stainless steel sheet and the gas stove and the hanging gas bottle underneath. So the more I was doing this kind of furniture, the more um, I started to think what I'm actually doing here and I started to do some research and, and uh, I found this term which was called upcycling. I've never heard of upcycling before. And uh, so I started finding out about upcycling. Well, it sounds very similar to recycling. So here is the definition. Recycling is taking waste and turn it into new products. Usually it's new raw material, which is often of lower quality and lower value. In Instead of recycling, you could do upcycling, which is taking waste and transforming it into something of greater use and value. So that's what I found out, and that's apparently what I'm doing. And there is other people who are doing it as well, I found out. <coughs> um, as I said, I take all stuff that I find in Shanghai and turn it into something new, like, for example, this uh, old shipping pallets, which is a classic, may make making furniture from shipping pallets. But um, I, I show you where I find my material. This is old town of Shanghai, a very lively uh, neighborhood, but unfortunately, as soon as you see this sign on the walls, that means that this neighborhood or this particular house is going to be broken down. Um, then this guy is coming, and uh, sooner or later, it looks like this. The good thing about China is everything is going to be reused, uh, everything is broken down into, into raw material and sold again. So here comes my supplier of old wood. Uh, this is uh, the guy where I usually get my old wood from, and uh, that's how it looks like when it just arrives in my studio. Um, I collect it, I clean it from old nails, old plaster, old paint, old concrete, and fit it together. And after many hours of grinding, planning, sanding, and oiling, it might end up looking like this, a table made of an old house. I like working with these kind of old materials, not only because of its sustainability, because of uh, the, the kind of echo thought behind it, but that's quite a, of a nice side effect. But I like to work with this kind of material because 
look at these colors, look at the black spots from old nails, which are sometimes still in the wood. Look at the variety of different woods you find. It's, it's just beautiful. And after a couple of hours of work, you get a very nice and smooth surface from a very rough material. Another piece from old reclaimed wood is uh, this window sideboard. Another favorite material to work with is the old Chinese biscuit tins. They're beautiful. I just I started collecting them because of the nice pictures, but later I had so many I had to build stuff from them. So I built bookshelves, and later I had more and more ideas what to build with them. So I built a lot of clocks. You will see them on Sunday. Uh, I built table and benches. I built a uh, iPod dock amplifier. <laughs> <coughs> I built speakers and uh, I built many other things from very typical Shanghainese uh, items. Thank you very much.